Hello guys, and today I'm going to cook something from a Thailand recipe book. This is World Food Thailand. It has lots of pictures of Thailand life in it and things like that. Um, this book was published in 2003. I probably can't see that easily, never mind. Um, if you can't see it, doesn't matter. I says this edition 2005, um, copyright 2003, okay. And um, so then I don't want to get the 2003 from probably the copyright, okay. And um, I'm going to cook something called um, banana stuffed crepes, which is in simple terms pancakes, okay. So I have here banana stuffed crepes, and here on the right. It's got a picture of what it's supposed to look like, okay? And I'm going to do that today. Now, I've done pancakes in the past. Normally, I would toss the pancakes, but um, for once, I'm probably going to turn them over just because um, I don't have enough um, mixture if it goes wrong. Also, in here, they, they use bananas. Now, I did peel a banana earlier, so I wanted to check if the banana was actually still edible or usable in some way so uh, I did actually open it I know it looks fairly horrible but when I opened it up there's a few but, but a bit, not much but it's mostly reasonable inside okay so it's reasonable inside so it's probably just teeny bits I need to cut out but not much okay so I'll put that in the meantime in a bag I will use this later okay so I did that for now I just kind of want to be sure that the banana is still usable, okay? Here, I have something called some golden syrup. And this is the most popular brand of golden syrup over here. It's Lyles. Okay, you can get supermarket brands. This is the better version. Um, I got this purely to show people what brand of golden syrup is popular over here, okay? It's Lyles, okay? I'm going to... Take off the wrapping, and here I'm going to use um, a screwdriver in a moment to lift the lid out. Okay, and this is a, basically a very sticky type mixture. Okay, some of the, the items I'm going to sort of guess to some extent, um, but the quantities. But there you go. That's golden syrup, and this is going to be the really sticky stuff that you put in afterwards. Okay. I'm probably going to mix this on a plate. Normally you'd mix it and then, you know, clear a plate, use a different plate. I'm just going to probably mix a lot of it together because I'm going to eat it anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so the presentation may not be because it could be, but that's just so I don't have to keep doing too many plates, okay, now. So right, I'm going to try and prepare all this now, and I'm going to try and cook it, okay? Hopefully it will all work out. Um, I've never tried this particular recipe before, but I have done pancakes many times in the past, but just normal pancakes, nothing to do with bananas or um, golden syrup. So, we'll see, okay? As I said, this is from a book of Thailand food. So this is apparently a Thailand version of pancakes, okay? Right, so carry on watching, guys. I'll try and make it now. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some milk in. Okay, now I've got um, here's some milk and it's um, two liters, which is approximately four pints. I'm halving all of this, so I'm going to put in about two hundred milliliters of mixture. So. It does have a line here, but I'm going to make sure I can see the milliliters. Um, you won't be able to, but I can. So, I'm 
Uh, that's 200 millilitres of milk. Thinking. So that's the milk that we. So that's gonna be, it's gonna be mixed in later. Okay. Now, um, so now I'm going to mix the um, everything in here. Ready? So this should do two pancakes. Must admit, it seems a hell of a lot of milk, but never mind. Um, just gonna check this it's a bit strange. Oh no, you absolute pig. What? Hundred and fifty millimeters. Okay. No. no it's okay, I thought they were I thought they lied, but they hadn't, okay. Right, okay, so, seems a lot, okay. Flour and sugar. Okay. So now I'm going to put in the flour, so there's... Switch this off a minute. For that minute, do that later. And that's um, roughly 100 grams of flour. So I'm going to open. I'll show you the um, flour in a moment. Okay. I can actually do it now. Actually, I'm just going to. Bring flour in it. it's McDougal's plain flour. I'm going to open it. And now see I've opened it. It's got some flour in there. I'm not going to bother sifting it. Um, Okay, so that's 99. That'll do. I'm not going to bother about There's some on my hand, so that'll do. Or should I try and get it to the 100? Now I'll leave it. Okay, that'll do. I'm not bothered about one gram. Now, it now stays. You could put in a tablespoon of um, light brown sugar. Um, be honest, I'm just gonna pretty much guess it. I forgot to bring Demerara will do. That looks about right. To be honest. Um looks about actually yeah yeah yep. Yeah. Looks about right roughly. It'll do. And um Now, I'm going to break the neck into here. So see I'm using free range eggs, which aren't free range at all. I've discussed this in a previous video. It says barn eggs, even though it claims free range, because at the moment free range eggs have been banned in Britain because of um, some sort of bird flu or something. So all the chickens have been told have got to stay inside. So you can't buy any real free-range eggs at the moment. They've got to be barn eggs. Uh, but they've kept the original packaging for people just used to regularly buying free-range eggs. And they put signs up in the supermarket warning people that they're actually really barn eggs because you can't buy free-range at the moment. That means the, uh, the chickens aren't allowed to go outside, basically. Right? For their own good. Okay. And here it's got an egg. 
which has um, a picture of a lion to show the lion quality. Um, here it's mentioned British lion quality, that means it's safe to eat, and as PCA approved, assured means the chickens were looked after. And now, I'm going to try and. That's <coughs> And that's the egg dealt with. No. I'm now going to beat this slowly. It does tell you to use the milk as well, but I'm going to do it slightly initially without the milk. Now, I've got the milk here, so it tells you full, um, half the milk, so I'm going to put in roughly half the milk, that's from six down to three, so. I'm going to try and beat this in slowly. And once it gets a lot smooth, I've got to add the milk in a bit at a time. I'm sure I won't do this properly because, you know, it's boring to film. There you go. Add a bit more milk. Last the suspicion they say this will make four, but um, looks like a lot. I'll pour in some more milk. I'm going for all the milk in now. Hopefully that won't be too bad. So this is basically the batter. It's going to be used to make the main pancake parts and part of the pancakes. <laughs> You're also going to spend, supposed to add in some lemon rinds. I'm going to add in some lemon in a moment but I forgot to bring it up so I'll put that aside a minute and then I'll deal with the lemon later 
I, I'm not going to use any lemon rind, I'm just going to use lemon juice instead, okay, when I do this, okay? But that's the main batter dealt with, so... While I'm doing that, I'm going to get the golden syrup ready. So what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to use a screwdriver. Uh, I'm going to prise open the lid. This is where it's going to be an absolutely terrible mess. So. Inside, you'll see the golden syrup. It's called golden syrup because it's very... Oh, it looks golden, it's brown, and I could put the lid on slightly loose so that I can do that in a moment. Um, okay, I'm now going to get um, some other things, so wait a moment. Right now, I have here. The banana, so I'm going to just take it out. I said most of that can be used, so let's see what bits I need to chop out of the banana. So that should be okay, I think. Now I'm going to slice the banana. <laughs> That's the banana. And I also have to squirt on some some lemon juice. So, um, it says juice for whole lemon. I'm not going to use a whole lemon, so I'm just going to squirt bits of lemon juice all over the banana. This is a GIF, you'll have to take my word for it. This is a GIF um, lemon juice um, bottle. Okay. So that'll do for that. A moment. Right now. Um, just before I forget, as I'm bound to forget otherwise. Here I have um, the butter mix from earlier. I'm going to squirt some lemon juice into that. You're supposed to put lemon rind in, but I'm going to put lemon juice in as well instead, okay? So I don't bother with lemon rind generally. Just stir that up. I hope it'll do the same thing. I know it's not quite the same, but that could do, okay? Right now. Now I'm going to um, put in two tablespoons of golden syrup. So I'm going to lift. This is the um, golden syrup. Look. I'm now going to. I'm going to use dessert spoons instead. Look, do. So that's <coughs> trouble. Is it's. There's one. I'm going to do a bit less. That's two. And hopefully that should be enough. And I'm going to try and put the um, lid off, which is always fun. We have golden soup, so I'm going to... Put that back on.
puts that, the lid back on and holding the syrup. Uh, I'm just going to try and mix this around so it's mixed in with the with the bananas, the golden syrup, and the lemon juice which I squirted on earlier onto the plate. And this is going to be the filling for two pancakes, okay? So in the end I might actually use two plates, a brand new plate anyway, so this is, as I said, going to be the filling. <laughs> Give you a second. A lot of the golden syrup out of it. As I said, this is the filling, okay? So I'd better get a... Oh, wait a minute. I know it's a mess, but wait a minute. Doesn't matter, I'm just going to use this later. Okay? So... Um... And I said, this is the filling, so I did want to serve it on this plate originally, but you know, I, it's more the filling is a lot more, um, you know, liquidy than I expected, so okay, doesn't matter. I'll serve it onto a different plate instead. I'm going to do this, I'm going to move this out of the way for a moment. Now I'm going to put the um, frying pan here. About the cooking later, I'm using some butter, so to put some butter in. So, um, to be honest, I think the purpose of the butter is only really to oil the pan anyway. So, I'm just going to guess it. When they say 55 grams, I'm truly just going to guess it. To be totally frank with you, so um, there's some butter there, and that will do. Um, this is technically out of date. It's supposed to be the first of um, the second. It's actually now April, but I'm not too bothered about that. Uh, butter tends to last a bit longer, I think. So, anyway, as I said, I'm going to heat that up, and then I'm going to put the batter mix in, and um, wish me luck. Okay, I think that is absolutely everything used. Yep. So, wish me luck in a moment. Okay. Right, okay. Right. Right, now I'm going to turn the heat up. I'm going to fry it now, okay? So. I have a spatula. Heating up the butter. I 
I I just guessed about it to be honest, but I think it'll be okay hopefully. Usually I just do is to line the pan, so I'm helping more than normal, but it doesn't matter. I was supposed to um, wait, but to be honest, I guessed it, so I think it'll probably do. I'm going to wait for the butter to melt. See the butter's currently melting. So. <laughs> Get the butter to completely melt. practically all melted so now I can pour in the batter I'm supposed to put half of it in but I'm gonna guess a lot of this so um, I have here the batter and so it's gonna be interesting so I'm gonna try and guess it so Hopefully there's enough there for another one. And I'll turn it down. I'm not sure if you want to keep stirring this or not, but oh, I forgot. This is where you don't stir it. I think. Yeah. So. I probably turned it into an omelette, unfortunately, but... <laughs> Let's do it about one minute on each side, so I'll turn it down a bit, so... This is, but no more. Something that shouldn't be there, I don't know what the hell it is, it might be something. I'm going to shake this a bit, so. It looks like I stupidly turned it into an omelette, but never mind. It's broken, unfortunately, so. <laughs> Normally I would toss this, but I didn't toss this, so. I'm just going to see if I can do this. Not as nice as I would like. It's a bit of a mess there. I would normally toss it properly and I have topped them properly in the past but 
my gut instinct was not to toss it and I was right so let's compensate for that I'm going to put a bit of this on that's just to let some liquid go through See if I can turn. Oh no, it's going to be a pig. And presentation on this won't be as good as I would have liked, but never mind, it'll do. As I said, I have done this popping the past, I have tossed them, but um, I remember to do it under some sort of. Um, Guys are trying to do with some sort of tie um, filling, so I've done them where normally you just put lemon on and sugar on. So, and this is going to be a bit of a disaster from a presentational perspective, but hopefully, it should have done that by now. I mean, it always didn't help because I started to stir it when it won't I think it just I should have just left it alone but never mind. Um not there's a slight difference between the way you make pancakes and omelettes but never mind. You're only meant to turn it over once, you weren't meant to turn it over several times, but I'm not happy about the pancake broke, so... I'm going to try and hopefully solidify it a bit. anything can go wrong it damn well will. This is a nightmare. Why are they so horrible? Oh dear. This is probably why people just cook normal pancakes. If I hadn't been filming the thing I'm sure it would have worked. It always goes wrong if I film things. Always. Well not always but many times. And I've made pancakes many 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 times. Which is why it's so frustrating. But I've never tried to make it with this kind of recipe before. Okay. And why it's annoying is because I was, normally I would just put things on it, but because I meant to fold this in this and put these things into some sort of pouch, which is why it's annoying. 
Okay. Right, okay. So I'm going to assume that's it. Okay. Well, that looks like a total disaster. Um, I'm not going to move this out of the way. I'm going to put a plate here. And it'll taste okay. It'll just look terrible. Right, okay. So now we have our um, pancake. And it won't work properly because you're meant to fold it over a certain way. But because um, it's an absolute goddamn nightmare, I can only do it like that. But, so I'm going to do, and it's near enough to what they said, so. I'm going to spoon some of this in here. It's meant to be folded over and it's meant to be folded so it goes inside. I'll have the mixture on here. So I'll have an extra banana just to show you me actually doing it. I think there's probably that's why I got my eye back. Uh, right. So now I'm going to fold this over. It's very similar to what it would have looked like because I have it quartered and have some, and you had some underneath originally. You've got some underneath now. It just doesn't look presentation that looks like a disaster. But you've got the bananas, you've got the golden syrup, and you've got it in the pouch. So. Okay, so now I'm going to eat it, okay? Alright guys, now as I said, um, I have here the pancake, and to show again, inside there's the banana and the golden syrup mixture with the... Um, and now I'm going to eat it, okay? Now I'm going to use the same spoon I used for the golden syrup just so I can reuse it. And I'm going to and it's very very juicy, it's very very sticky. Um I'm using the past I'm used to having the sugar on the top rather than as part of the mixture, to be honest. So this is probably some sort of strange um Thailand um, idea, I don't know, it's in a Thailand book, so I'm assuming it's a Thailand recipe. Um, it's also why I'm not used to doing this, because I'm not used to having, um, you know, sugar in a mixture, in like this, in the mixture when I'm frying it in the frying pan. It's normally sugar will be added afterwards with the British version, okay? And that originally looked like a disaster, it's not too bad because I said you can still see the banana inside, it's perfectly edible. Normally I think I'm going to put some custard sugar on top, but just follow the recipe the way they've suggested it. Um, it's very delicious and very juicy because of the golden syrup. Especially, I can taste some lemon but not too much. I say it looked like a disaster when it was in the pan. but And that's why for once I didn't want to toss it, okay? 
นุ่มเราชอบสุพรรณไข่ It doesn't mention anything about tossing, so um, I didn't do it. I just turned it over. Okay, but I did it more times than perhaps I should have done. But it, it's good enough. And it tastes very good. So I'm not a fan in terms of the way I made it, in terms of you know the taste or anything like that. In fact, as I guess a lot of the quantities, like the like the butter, like the sugar, um, you know. So yeah, would I have this again? Yes. In fact, I'm going to have another one in a moment. So. And then this will be my dinner for today, okay? Well, it's actually five o'clock in the morning at the moment, and I'm doing this because my mum hasn't got the radio on. Otherwise, you get in the um, radio noise sometimes. So, hope you're supposed to be sleeping. Um, And then for some strange reasons, she listens to radio through the night sometimes through headphones, but that's all matter. And um, we both just went to bed, but it's her life. So, there you go. No, the presentation wasn't so good near the end because, because it broke in the pan. It tasted very good, so there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Hello, guys. This is a brief introduction to the bonus material. I cooked it again, but unfortunately had some filming problems. I did it the second time without any commentary at all. I just wanted to concentrate on it and see what I could do just concentrating on it. Unfortunately, I don't think I filmed it properly, so I, I think a lot of it was originally missed. So, but you do see it where it's in the pan. The pancake mixture is in the pan bubbling. I managed to um, cook both sides of it. I managed to get onto a plate in one piece this time without it breaking up. Um, however, I did burn the pancake because um, I was trying to make absolutely sure it came out in one piece and I probably overdid it. So it's a bit sort of uh, burnt, unfortunately. Normally, I wouldn't I'd be a lot more careful with it normally. But um, to be absolutely totally honest with you, but, um, you know, I just wanted to make absolutely sure it came out in one piece just to see if I could do it in one piece. And it did come out in one piece, but it's burnt from the bottom unfortunately. One of the sides wasn't so bad so it wasn't so bad on inside for example. It's a bit more burnt on the outside unfortunately which is annoying but never mind. So but I managed to prove I could cook it in one piece okay. I just need to finish it off a bit less next time. Also um, the first time man, I worked it out correctly where you know, the banana mixture was meant to go in. I, I filmed it so the banana mixture wasn't right. So anyway, um, right, I'm, I'm actually going to eat it now. So I've already started, but I will properly eat it now, okay? Um, after, I'll show you how I did it, okay? So I've, I've screwed this up totally, which is why it's all bonus material. I've screwed up the editing of the video. I've burnt this slightly but it did come out the pancake came out as one pancake without lots of holes or falling to pieces okay right so I'm going to show you how I did it okay
Right, and again, this is me continuing to eat the second pancake, okay? Now, as I said, on this one, I've taken out the other set of Like the burnt, but I couldn't see the bottom of the pan. And... When I did the first one, I kept turning it over so it wouldn't burn. But, and I could see how it looked underneath. But because I kept turning it over, it meant that it broke. This one didn't break, but it's slightly burnt, so... Unfortunately. In fact, I'm not used to cooking pancakes with um, sugar in the mixture. Normally, we have no sugar, I believe, in the mixture. I believe, and add it afterwards, so... Unfortunately, some of the burn part of the paint gate does tend to ruin it a bit, so I'm going to eat that bit on its own. Next time, I probably wouldn't have the paint the um, cook up so high. Oh, I forgot my mark was the next one. Middle um, okay, it's going to disaster mode again in terms of presentation. So, I'm going to put this in here. You get some things right, you get some things wrong. You'd think this was an outtake that I'd done originally. I actually did this afterwards, so this is you know, not something an original outtake, and I did it the second time, it's perfect, it's the way around. Um, you're seeing it in the order which I did them. Anyway. I don't know if the fact it was burning because it started to smell a bit, but um, after the first, well, I didn't want to like, take a risk of it falling to pieces, so I think that burnt, you see, it is how it, to some extent, what it's supposed to look like. I could have probed the first one though, and it looked like a, a terrible mess because it wasn't actually burnt, but never mind. You never know. Truthfully, what these pancakes have got to do with Thailand is beyond me, truthfully, because it's not a thing I was generally associated with Thailand. Maybe they do so like it's in Thailand, I've no idea, but you know. Usually, in my experience, Thai food has things like fish paste, and not fish paste, fish sauce or something. Other strange ingredients, okay, and things like, yeah, you know, green or red curry, tags and things, but, if I hadn't burnt it, this would have been very good, and, it was hard to tell it was burnt, as I said, because, when I turned it, I did the first side, it was okay, but then when I did the second side, I probably did it a bit too long, but... There you go.
Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.